Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of uh, the XCOM Legendary Iron Man Army of One or Lone Wolf Run. My name is Saiken and we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. Today we're going to have another kind of training event. I took a break from XCOM so in between the last session and this we're probably having almost a month of time. It became very grindy and I needed to also clear my mind and think a bit about how uh, the one soldier could actually stand up against each of the enemies. Um, I have uh, yeah, developed a few strategies that I'm going to share with you alongside the, uh, this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, on top of it, we're currently in the process of essentially um, getting... Oops, wait. No, we're not uh, stopping psionic training. Essentially getting... Uh, Hogbite to a super soldier level. He's on covert ops missions, as you were aware. Got a little bit of negative trait uh, recovery for the other soldiers going. This month is going to be smooth. It is already end of 2036, so we're almost two years in by now. But we still need to train. And I hope that at the end of this video, we're going to be ready. So it's probably containing one or two months. At the end of this video, we're hopefully ready to go and um, and do one of the golden path missions because I want to spice it up so that we can see some action. Let me start and I'll keep you posted as soon as something happens. Okay, so first thing that happened is we got a nice little mission for a scientist. We're not going to actually go for the scientist, but we're trying to get a facility lead. Let's see how this plays out. And here we go. Let's take a look if we'll get the facility lead. <laughs> and of course we missed. Great. Good. That's it. It was a chance, but we fluked and did not get it. And another chance for us to get uh, an enemy hack in. We are being attacked, so retaliation mission. We're actually not going there in order to save someone, which is a bit sad to say, but we're going there to potentially get the facility lead. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go again. Let's see if we're more successful this time. There we go. Facility lead, 40%. Come on. There we go. Wonderful. And let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> there was the chosen. How fitting. Well, we're not going to fight her. See you later. Fortunately, all of uh, the civilians died. But we got a facility lead. Good job, guys. And we're at the end of October. So we got one facility lead. Lost a lot of uh, missions, of course. The enemy made three bleeps of avatar progress. And our biggest problem is that both of the Chosens have now almost full knowledge. Uh, so we're going to be shot down next uh, month by the Hunter. It's already pretty, pretty damn sure that that's going to happen. There isn't much that we can really changed that would uh, yield us any more benefit that we're already having. The Templars will follow. So that was October. Let's dive into November of 2036. All right, before we're getting attacked, there is another mission, uh, this time one with low profile. So we're taking Renvin out for a mission. To hopefully skull check someone and see if we can get another facility lead. All right, time to yet again try to get a skull check. We've been 
There we go. Relatively low chance to actually get it. But Renven is Renven, and there's the facility lead, guys. Good job, buddy. Well done. And once again, we're being called to defend our adventure. This time, I'm doing it in a bit of a different fashion. We do have, instead of our Reaper, uh, the second uh, Templar with us. Let's see if this one is going to be easier. I figured the last time we had problems with the Hunter, and the Templar can definitely take on the Hunter 101. So that is the core idea behind it. Let's go. All right, and here we go. It's time for us to finish the chosen one. It's one hit. Good job, Roby. And rapid fire. It was an easier fight this time than beforehand. Both the Ghost and the Templar really helped out uh, killing him, and we got some nice loot out of uh, the entire battle as well. Successful, very successful. And we're through November. Let's take a review of the month. Overall, it was relatively successful. We got ourselves another facility lead. Some really good loot. We defended the adventure. Unfortunately, we also failed a few missions. And uh, we got another adventure mission from the Wrath Maiden coming in. Which is a problem. But I still haven't found a way of permanently shutting that down we might be able to counteract and that's pretty much about it we're not going to change anything here as for the overall avatar project we're sort of making moderate uh, progress in keeping it uh, at bay it's at half when we're reducing one uh, blip every month automatically the good news is we're almost done with um, going through all of uh, the alien facility missions uh, or unlocking them rather so this month is probably going to be the revenge month I intend to um, to get rid of all of the facilities grossly th um, slowing down the avatar progress let's see if I um, successfully manage to take this on Time for our first approach. We're going and shut uh, in order to shut down the first of the five facilities. Let's go and look at that. We just ran into the Archon, uh, the Snake King. Not exactly what I wanted. Good. We placed the C4 charge and triggered the. King might as well simply get out of here. Whenever you think it can't be worse, there's definitely an option to pull yet another enemy. Unfortunately, we can't see the uh, Viper King. Which means we're not going to kill him, at least not this turn. Dealt about 8 points of damage, and that is facility number 1 down. Time for facility number two. Let's go. And look at that. Of course, not even starting the mission. And there we go. Let's try to get uh, and kill the Archon King. But first, we need to prioritize uh, finishing the mission. I thought I had recorded it. Yeah, unfortunately I did and I was just uh, banishing. <laughs> I was just banishing. First shot, execution. 
But we took some damage in return. Unfortunately, we needed to evac out. Which means we're probably not going to do all five of uh, the bases just in a row. But at least we got uh, the Archon King, which is good. Means we might be able to get his armor. And that, in, in a sense, will mean uh, that our non-Templar units should have a pretty, pretty solid set of armor. It's actually one of the best, if not the best, armor. Yeah, we unfortunately have six days of off time, but that's okay. Which means, in the meantime, we can get another facility lead, even though we already know where all of the facilities are. It's technically possible to already store one for future facilities. And here we go again. We're, of course, just trying to get some sort of, uh, of a skull check. I don't even try to finish that mission. All right, it's time for another skull check again. Let's take the shield bearer this time. And we missed. So, bad luck this time. We're just going to pull out and move away. So very soon we're going to have another Avenger defense. Unfortunately, this time we did not get any uh, facility leads, but that's okay. Let's move on. And this time, since we're fighting against uh, the Assassin, we're going in with a Ropey plus our Reaper. Time to clean house. All right, we just spotted out the Chosen right here after we leveled the entire building. Time to prepare. Ah, the Banish is a good idea, but we're going to do that after we made sure... That there is proper line of sight. Can't hide from this one. Very nice. Let's start softening her up. As always, the towers hit absolute uh, ridiculously difficult shots, but the easy ones against target without cover seem to be impossible to hit. There we go. Chosen's almost down. So, I think the safest bet here is to indeed banish. That way the Chosen doesn't get a turn. And we only lose one charge of our, of our concealment. There we go. Good job. She falls easier and easier every single mission. We're kind of getting used to it. And just as we finished our Avenger defense, uh, there is another mission, yet another ambush, which should be fairly easy. And right before the month ends, I wanted to continue the perch, so we're going in and clearing out the third facility, this time in Indonesia. Let's see if we're going to be successful.